Hey you guys, it's me Bea Buding and welcome back to my channel. And so for today's video, it will be about the ultimate guide to college application process here in the Philippines. So why? ultimate guide because just like you I also searched videos online last year when I was about to take my college entrance tests. Those videos are not exactly very complete so I had to search a lot and some videos were from 2015 and I just thought since I was also a beneficiary like I benefit from those videos why not I create my own so here is the ultimate guide to college application process what I did for my college application process how I passed those tests and the steps I took and also tips and tricks so watch that out before we proceed please 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 subscribe to my channel and also click the bell button beside it to be notified whenever I post videos and let's get started okay what are, what is the very first thing that you need to know when you are going to apply for college is that first you need to have a very stable internet connection when I was applying for OPCAT um, you cannot change anything any data that is on the that you have entered on the application form so what you need is that you have a stable internet and be extra extra careful kasi ako nung nag-apply ako for OPCAT na mali ako nang lagay ng data and then dumoble siya hindi mo na siya yung ma hindi mo na siya may edit so be extra careful and don't worry if you sa online na nag-apply ka is ma medyo mabagal i also experienced that and after a few days, it became okay and I had my own account. So, wag kayo masyado mag-worry tungkol dun. Well, not just UP but also other, college, uh, also other colleges and universities, they start with the online application. So, you really need to have a stable internet connection and be extra careful with um, putting all the data there. And also, be honest guys. Never lie. <laughs> okay, so after no online application, so UST kasi, after mo mag online application, you're going to print it. Hindi mo na kailangan magpasa na one by one kasi ilalagay mo na mismo dun sa application form yung picture mo. Like, automatic na yun. <laughs> Tapos, ipapa-LBC mo na siya. Yung LBC ko kasi nag-cost siya ng 151 pesos. Pero, uh, depende kasi yun kung gano'ng kakalayo. And LBC, syempre, expensive yun. So, yun. Sa UP kasi, uh, it's either you're going to mail it or you're going there by yourself. Ang ginawa kasi namin, we go, pumunta kami doon. Pero, last day na ng application process. So, ang nangyari, naalala nyo pa ba yung balita last year na nagkaroon ng siksika, nagkaroon ng stampede? Nandun kami! Ang nagpaliwanag sa amin, na mula nga kagabi, may mga nagcamping at nang magliwanag kanina, giniit naman na ang mga nagcamping kagabi ang dapat mauna hanggang magsingita na sa pila. Ang nangyari nun, 10pm pa lang, nandun na sa pila at ang haba na ng pila nun, like, grabe. <laughs> Tapos, sobrang, sa sobrang haba ng pila, by the morning, nakaikot na siya ng buong UP. So, yung nasa pinakaunahan, tsaka yung nasa pinakadulo, nandun na sa, uh, sa OUR. Uh, university Registrar. So, nagkagulo. And, nandun kami ng mom ko. It was really helpless kasi kahit sabihin ng mga UP students doon na tutulungan kami na makawala doon sa stampede kahit we go back hindi talaga kasi nagtutulakan so thankful kami doon sa guard na nagsabi na lahat ng babae pumasok yun nakapasa kami ng mom ko and my mom was very emotional noong time na yun so never ever uh, apply and bigay yung form mo ng last day but I think okay na ngayon yung UP kasi talaga last year and Mga katabi ko na yung matay, nakakaloka. Tapos may time pa na yung lola nakakaawa. Kasi yung application form ng anak niya, kasi syempre, kompleto na yun eh. Naapak-apakan na doon sa 
dami ng tao, sobrang siksikan kasi. And naki, nakita namin siya nung mom ko na yumuyo ko na yung papel na apakan. Tapos umiiyak na yung babae kasi sabi niya, wag na, wag na la, wag na. Ganun. Kaya, wag kayo. Do not create the same mistakes that I did na nag-cram ako kasi naniwala ako na ang application process is an July 16 to August 10. Yun pala, yung August 10 is uh, ang deadline nun sa mga regional and public schools. Eh, ako, private school ako. So, nung malapit na yung due or deadline nung pagbigay na application form, tsaka lang ako nagpapirma sa, <laughs> sa principal <laughs> 2 na form 137. Kaya wag nyo kagayahin yun. Tapos, ang napag-examan ko po kasi ay UST, UP, and FEU. So, luckily, I passed the UST and FEU. But, I did not make it in the quota ng UP Diliman. Kasi, ang taas-taas ng quota. Actually, more than 80,000 students ang nag-apply for UPCAT. So, yung sa tinagkaiba kasi ng UST and UP is that ang UST meron silang 4 batches. Yung four batches na yun, iba't ibang month. So, I think October, December, January. Umabot ata ng January. Tapos, pwede pa sila mag-special exam. Pero, sa UP kasi, really, really try your uh, best and try hard. Kasi, sa UP po, uh, dalawang araw lang yung exams. And, umaga hapon, umaga hapon. So, alamin niyo yung dates. Ayun, after nang uh, have a stable internet, second, apply, bigay mo na yung form mo, and third, really, really be mindful of the dates. Kasi, those universities and colleges that are really prestigious and the top universities, very, ano sila sa mga dates. Lalo na sa PUP. Ang PUP, nalaman ko from the group chats na marami sila nagbabago-bago. So, yung mga dates ng application nila, for example, yung mga quota courses kasi kagaya ng accounting, wala na yan. So, meron, nag-open sila ng mga iba pang courses na from March and April, nag-open sila ng iba pang courses na pwede pag-applyan ng estudyante. So, pwede pa rin kayo makapasok ng PUP kahit hindi kayo nakapasa from uh, dun sa choice nyong college, pero uh, pasok yung grade mo. May ganun eh. May ganun din sa UP. Meron kasi tinatawag na UPG. Yung UPG, 60% nun is from UPCAT. 40% is from your last three years of high school. So, if you really want to enter those colleges, study hard from your high school pa lang. Junior high school and senior high school. Pero yung grade 12 kasi hindi counted. Kasi uh, ang kompleto pa lang sa'yo is grade 11 grades. So, yun. Uh, yung 40% na yon malaking hatak na yon Imagine mo, isang buko pa eh. Wala na lang 40%. Di ba? Ang laki na nun. Kaya, if you really want to pass, uh, be, ano to, maging masipag na kayo sa, sa junior high school nyo. Tapos, ano pa ba? Yung last na advice ko is maging masipag na kayo mula high school kasi it will help you a lot. Sa so, mga nagsasabi na stock knowledge is power, totoo yun. Kasi um, magkakaroon kayo naman stock knowledge if you know those topics before. So, be, maging masipag na kayo, magbasa-basa na kayo ng mga libro. And huwag kayo matakot na ang dami matalino. Sa so, totoo lang, na-insecure ako sa mga kasama kong mag apply Kasi mukha sila matalino, mga nakasalamin pa, and reviewers and all. But, but just believe in yourself and have confidence. Kaya niyan, guys. Since we're at the topic, I'll just give you some tips. Konti lang to kasi, guys, di ako nakapasa sa UP. So, baka isipin nyo, nagmamagaling ako. Kaya, konti lang tong tips ito. Una, una, una sa lahat, be mindful sa oras. Kasi oras talaga ang kalaban nyo. And pangalawa, having practice tests, it gives you confidence. It gives you na, uy, alam ko to. Oh, edi alam mo na paano sagutin. Pero kasi, yung mga lengthy na ano to, lengthy na formulas, you can also, you can only remember them kapag exam, kapag lagi mo siya inuulit. So, repetition is key. So, those are the tips lang, tatlo lang. <laughs> 
Tapos, ang nangyari kasi, di ba nakapas nakapasa po ako sa UST ng BS Pharma. Nakapasa po rin po ako sa FEU ng BS Pharmacy. Tapos, ngayon po, sa UP, nag-apply din po ako na reconsideration sa UP Manila. Bakit po ako nag-apply? Because in UP Diliman, their cutoff is really, really high. But my UPG was 2.264. So, ima uh, I just thought it is still pasok. Pasok kasi yun sa kote. Kaso, sa dami na nag-apply, I, uh, I wasn't accepted. So, UP Diliman is not accepting any appeals. Huwag na kayo magsubok. So, kung hindi kayo confident na huwag niyo ako gagayahin. Ako kasi ginawa ako tatlong kota courses ang non-kota. Yung non-kota ko pa public administration ako. Hindi po ako nakapasok. So, if you really want to enter UP, please, 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 just please choose a non-kota course and also a course na hindi, hindi kinukuha ng maramihan. Yun. Tapos, <laughs> tapos po, nung hindi po ako nakapasok sa UP, so since 2.264 naman yung UPG ko, nag-apply po ako sa UP Manila. Kaso ang problema ng UP Manila, since I passed FEU, yun kasi yung parang second school ko. Kung hindi ako makapasok ng UP, FEU po ako. So nung nakapasok po ako ng FEU, uh, ang reservation niya po ay mas maaga, reservation period ng batch ko ay, ma ay mas maaga kesa doon sa labasan ng resulta. It was June 25. Imagine, June 25! Lahat, uh, nag-start na ata ng pasokan sa ibang schools. And, ganun talaga ka-strict ang UP. So, ang UP Manila, Noong nag-try po kami mag-apply, nire-remind ng UP Manila na one, it depends on your UPG, they will weigh your UPG, and two, pwede rin basis ng application mo is yung interview. So, if you did good in your UPG, and alam mong pasok ka sa 2.5 na UPG, apply. But, oh, the courses na available nung time, nung time na yun will be BA courses. I will say those courses, ha? So, BA Behavioral Sciences, uh, BA Community Development, BA Political Science, BA Social Studies, Area Studies, and lastly, yung Dental Medicine. So, <laughs> kukwentuhan ko lang kayo, ha? Ang, in-apply, ang in-applyan ko po is Behavioral Sciences. Apat kasi na napat lang yun. So, edi kinuha ko na lahat. Except sa area studies and dental med... Uh, ay, hindi. Except sa dental medicine. So, kinuha ko na lahat. Kaso, kahit pasok po yung UPG ko, sobrang konti lang ang kinuha nila. Siguro 50 students lang. And, hindi po ako, hindi po ako nakatanggap ng email. <laughs> so, hindi po ako nakatanggap ng email. Grabe. Like, araw-araw ko pinapaginipan yung UP and pinagdadasal. But, it wasn't for me. But, huwag kayo malulungkot kasi marami pang colleges and universities na magpapakita talaga ng better version of you. He has other plans for you kaya huwag kayo malulungkot. Pero ako nalungkot ako, to be honest. And my expectations were high since I was in the UPG. Ano ba ito? Nagkwentuhan na lang tayo. Hindi na naging ultimate guide. <laughs> uh, so, if you really want to be in UP again, put non-cut a course and also a course na hindi uh, hindi kinukuha ng karamihan. So, then just shift on a course that you like. So, now I'm currently enrolled in FEU as BS Pharmacy and I'm really happy and excited to be a college freshman. So, I hope you guys will also land on your college or university that you want. Okay, now we have this college application. This college application process is that even though you pass the exam, you still need to go through a process to be uh, enrolled and admitted. Ako, nagkaroon po ako ng physical examination. What are those physical examinations? Una, drug test, uh, urinalysis, fecalysis, anti-HBS, quali, HBSAG, quali, yun. And nagkaroon po ako ng chest x-ray and Ishihara test. Bakit ang daming physical examination? 
So it is to ensure that those students that will be admitted to their school ay kaya makapagsabayan sa other students na who are physically fit. So what are those examinations? Sa drug test po, kinuwala sa akin urine. And uminom ka ng malaming tubig bago ka, <laughs> bago ka magpa-drug test kasi pag umulit yung lalagyanan may bayad. Ano po ang urinalysis? It is also your own urine, pero pwede ka umihi outside. Pwede ka umihi sa CR o dun mismo sa bahay mo as long as it is uh, in 30 minutes period. Kasi pag more than 30 minutes, magkakaroon na siya ng bacteria and they cannot examine it properly na. So, uh, ang fecalysis po is your pupu. <laughs> Pwede ka po magpupu sa bahay. Huwag ka ma-pressure na magpupu sa school. Pero, yung pagpupu mo sa bahay, dapat within one hour, makapunta ka na sa school mo. Pag more than one hour, magkakaroon na siya ng bacteria. So, okay, uh, dapat nyo, ilagay nyo na siya sa pack na may yellow. Yung HBSAG, huwag kayong matatakot sa ganun. Kasi, Ang sa akin kasi, nung kinuwaan po ako ng blood test, kasama na rin dun yung HPSAG. Yung HPSAG, check niya po if may reactive bodies ka sa katawan mo na pwede labanan yung possibly have. Yung CBC is complete blood count. Ano po ang complete blood count? Sa dugo po kasi nalalaman if meron ka pong... Uh, anomaly sa red blood cells mo, sa platelets mo. Di ba kapag konti platelets mo, nagkakaroon ka ng tenge. So, dun po nalalaman yun. Meron din po tayong tatawag na chest x-ray. Ch Tingnan lang yung chest x-ray ko. Pero, kinabukasan ko pa po siya nakuha. So, ang college admission uh, process is re it takes days. <laughs> really, kaya uh, mag-apply na po kayo bago mag-start ng classes weeks before kasi para hindi kayo maabot ng maraming tao. Pero yung ibang colleges, nagsiset sila ng dates na, yun lang yung dates na pwede ka mag-complete na admission requirements mo. After kumakuha yung results ko, nagkaroon po ako ng physician assessment. And hell, grabe! Ang hinahanap sa physician assessment ko is yung baby book ko. Imagine, I'm already 18 years old. Hinahanap sa akin baby book ko. <laughs> Okay, so marami kasi vaccines ang iti-check ng doctor if you have taken the, them para sa mga ilang colleges lang to ah. Ito kasi nangyari sa FUO. Pero depende kasi yun sa university o college mo. So sa akin, hinanap talaga. Ako kasi medical student ako, pharmacy ako. So hahanapin talaga yung mga vaccine ko. Meron ako friend na medtech. Talaga meron siya intramuscular vaccines. <laughs> Pinag-vaccines talaga po sila. Required po yun. So, ang hinanap po talaga sa akin is baby book. Kaya, hanapin nyo na yung baby book nyo as much as possible. And, if wala ka pong maipakita ng proof sa physician, magbabayad ka po ng malaki para sa vaccines. And, pagpavaccine din po kayo bago mag-start ng classes. After ko po mag maging fit to enroll, Depende kasi sa doctor if sasabihin na fit to enroll ka or hindi o kung may papaulitin sa yung test. So, after ko po makuha fit to enroll, dire-diretso na po yun hanggang sa makapunta po ako ng registrar, hanggang sa makuha ko na po yung uniform ko. If you want to watch and see my uniform and ID, I have, I have also a video about that. And, ayun, hanggang sa nakuha ko na yung, uh, nagpagawa na po ako ng nameplate and I'm really, really excited to enter college. So, guys, if you like this video, kindly click the thumbs up below and also subscribe to my channel, please, 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 guys. And also, I hope it helped you and also hopefully your friends about this ultimate guide to college and college application process. Thank you guys for watching and I really enjoyed having this discussion with you guys and I hope that you watch also my other and previous videos before this one. So thank you my loves. Bye!